Hey, what's going on, Pathways Church? I'm Jake Collins, your middle school pastor, and I'm excited to join you this week on Daily Dose. This week, we're going to do something a little bit different. See, Jesus changed my life when I was seven years old, but it wasn't until I was in high school that I really started thinking about where God was calling me. I was super into music as a teenager, so I thought that he might be steering me into the world of worship music. So I started writing worship songs based on what God was teaching me, what I was hearing in church services, and how others in my life were impacting my walk with him. It's definitely interesting to look back on these now. This week on Daily Dose, I'm going to share with you some sections of these songs, as well as the scriptures that inspired them. Maybe you're not a musician, but maybe you keep a journal of some kind. There's incredible value in writing down what God is doing in your life. So as a junior in high school, I started actively listening to worship music. At the same time, I was getting into studying scripture for the first time in several years. I slowly started to realize that most worship songs were rooted in scripture. Now, that might seem obvious to you, but this was a major moment for me at the time. Sometime dur- during that season, I read or heard John 14, 6. This is where Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. At the same time, one of the more popular worship songs was called Marvelous Light by Charlie Hall. He flipped this verse around in his chorus, and it says, By the cross, you are the truth, you are the life, you are the way. I figured that if he could rearrange it and land on way, then I could do the same thing and land on truth. And this led me to the first worship song I ever wrote, and it's called The Truth. It goes like this. It goes, I see the God who loves us more than we know, the creator of the world, the author of eternity, the Alpha and Omega, the King of all creation, who has a plan for you. And all you say, and all you do, show them the way, the light, the truth. So looking back on this, I love the twist on the phrase, show me the way. When we have the courage to share Jesus with the people in our lives, we are effectively showing them the way. We're also showing them the life, and we're also showing them the truth. When I wrote this, I thought of it as a challenge song for the church, but it has become a challenge for me as well. And it's not just about moments when we actually get to share the gospel. Even the interactions and conversations that seem insignificant can be big steps in pointing people to the truth. That's all for today. Join me back here tomorrow on Daily Dose.